says I'd be starting as a private. You think you're special? Not starting from the bottom! Ah! I'm way too good for that! I was thinking something more along the lines of a... say, Captain? You wait here, okay? See ya! Hey, buddy. I'd like to go home sometime tonight, you know. Oh, I'm just waiting here for somebody. Yeah, sorry to tell you this, son, but she took your money and ran. Huh? I told you you're not a target. You don't have to die. Yeah, well, I can't let you murder a helpless little girl. Mm-hmm. Uh. So you won't step aside? Well, I'm not gonna back down now. Hmm. Then you've made your choice. Uh. You don't have to kill her! This isn't a war! There's no reason to kill innocent people! Please! I don't think she's listening to me. We could use an extra pair of hands. Plus, he seems to have potential and a little luck on his side. Oh? He still doesn't want to be part of the team in spite of all that's happened? He's a bit hesitant. So I was hoping maybe you could give him a few words of encouragement, okay? Hmm. Well, since we showed you the location of our hideout... If we can't convince you to join the team, then you'll be dead. Oh, uh, is that supposed to be encouragement or a threat? Name's Bulat. Pleasure's mine. Uh, hi there? And yes, he's gay. <laughs> now don't give him the wrong idea. Yet. I can think of a lot of wrong ideas. Well, have you joined us yet? Uh. No. Then I'm sorry, but I won't be sharing any of my dinner with you. I'm okay with that. This chick's already tried to kill me twice. I better watch out for her. Akame. Hmm. You're in charge of training him for now. <coughs> if he becomes a nuisance, feel free to kill him. Hmm. No problem. Uh, no problem? <laughs> <laughs> better do a good <laughs> job if you want to live. Uh, it had to be her. I am so dead. Oh my god, this is so adorable and cheesy, and the fact that you're almost naked makes it even more ridiculous! Hey, you're the ones who took my shirt off! Well, you're working with mine on your next assignment, so I expect your best. <laughs> Youch, out of the frying pan and into the fire! Uh, she's even worse! Uh, uh, I have a bad feeling all of a sudden. Man, I really have found a crazy group of friends, huh? Why'd I dream of him of all people? You could've killed me! Well, I missed! You filthy pervert! How dare you dodge when you know you deserve to die! Oh, whatever! If you hadn't slept in so late, then I wouldn't have been ordered to come get you! Maybe so, but haven't you ever heard of a thing called nothing? Hey, you. Looks like you've got some guts after all. I suppose I ought to commend you on your brave- ah! Ooh. You didn't need to cut it that oh. close. Look at what that pumpkin thing did to my freaking hair! Oh! What's with you? A genius was about to give you a compliment, dumbass! No, shut up. You're not a genius! Just concentrate. You have to sharpen up your focus. If you can cut out all that extra movement, you'll be able to hang in there twice as long. I... got it. You'll be an unstoppable force before you know it. You just need a firm touch. Oh, oh. Tatsumi. Huh? It's time for you to help me make breakfast. <laughs> oh, easy, Tiger. Yeah, but... Zanku's also equipped with an Imperial Arms he stole from the Warden a few years ago. We'd better travel in teams of two, in case it's a rough ride. Jeez, why did he have to say it like that? Is it true that your sword kills with one strike? That's right. Oh man, it's a miracle I'm even alive right now. Oh, random ability that I don't know about. Activate now! Tatsumi, hmm? I've been meaning to tell you something. When you let yourself smile, 
You're really sweet. <laughs> you can't run away now. I've already marked my territory. Once you finally grow up, you're gonna be all mine, baby. One more round, all right? Don't you think you might need to rest up a little bit first? I don't have time for that. Remember, we're pretending this is a real fight, so don't hold back. Here I come! Uh -huh. Don't be so quick to assume, Tatsumi. Wait, bro? My trump card is invisibility, remember? And you never know what our foes might do. Oh. Yeah, you're right. I guess I didn't think that through, did I? How many times would you say you've smacked me in the head, by the way? Ah, uh, sometimes you need a little tough love. Love. Oh. love. Did you really have to make it echo? In that case, <laughs> I guess I'll just have to make it hit you! Yeah. Ah! Talk to me, you idiot! <laughs> That guy was obviously getting ready to finish you off, and you just barreled right in there without even thinking about it. You need to learn to be more responsible! Uh... So, now for your reward. Oh, uh, thank you very much, ma'am. No matter how you get it, money is still money. And I have no problem taking it. <laughs> huh? Starting today, you'll be mine and mine alone. Uh, wait a sec. Uh, Let's go somewhere we can hey, name on, too many eyes around here. Stop it. Be a good boy. Okay. More than passion to survive. I have to get back to base. I have to get back and report everything. Oh. This could be the perfect chance to get away. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! Not anymore. <laughs> Snap out of it, man. Okay. Don't freak out. Just convince her to join the revolution. Do it. Take control. Take her down like a tomcat. Rear. I must not let her intimidate me. For now, we should get some sleep. Uh, okay, I'll be over here on the sofa. You can sleep in the bed tonight. I won't do anything to you. Oh, yeah. I should probably take a shower. Just so you know, if you wander around the palace or make any attempt to leave, you will be executed. Please do not try anything foolish. Don't worry about me. Hmm? Hey, how did you sleep last night? Oh, wow, you didn't sleep at all. No, I was so nervous I stayed awake until the sun came up. She said she wouldn't do anything, but when I woke up, she was spooning me. Thanks a lot, but I'll be okay. I mean, I was already used to being treated like that anyway. Yeah, trust me, I understand that. I just get this weird feeling you and I are kind of similar, don't you? Similar? What do the two of us have in common? Huh? Uh, I'm not sure how to explain it. It's like we deal with the same problems. Or at least gonna deal with the same problems. Uh, yeah. I totally get it. We're practically like brothers. If she was like me, then she must have been a wonderful person. Yeah. Not only a great leader, but also a good man. A, a man? <laughs> Hey boss, you totally look like a dude. Cool That's down. If you make her mad, she's gonna freak out and kill us. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, sorry. Uh -oh. You're a lot sweeter than I thought you were when we first met. Mm. How dare you say that to me? Just looking out for my mental well-being like anybody would. And the next time you try to sneak a little peek at me when I'm naked, I won't hesitate to cut it off, is that clear? Oh, uh, did you say cut it off? Cut what off? Tatsumi, there's something I really need to tell you. What's that? Could you please zip up your pants? It's been bothering me for a while now. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, cool, yeah. Yeah, totally take you seriously. You're awesome. It's just right, Laser. Come on, guys! Great, this is not what I need right now. You look pretty tough. Maybe I can run away and leave this to her. Then again, maybe not. There goes that idea. Is this some sort of dream? I've been waiting so long for the moment we could meet again, Tatsumi. Nope. Unfortunately, this is not a dream. 
got to be kidding me. Wow, I had no idea we were so far away. Which means... Huh? You and I are the only two people on this island, Tatsumi. So then, what would you like to do? You're in charge. Go ahead, choose your fate. Well, don't all those options mean about the same thing? You go up against her in combat, I expect you to do so with all you've got. Did you say always? Hold on, boss. How old are you, anyway? In my mid-twenties, if you must know. As death is actually a bit younger. No way! You're only in your mid-twenties? I thought you were way older. <coughs> Tatsumi, you should know better than to ask a woman how old she is. It's rude. I have had a vision. I see you two joined by the red string of fate. Cast off your differences and confess your love. <gasps> Upon forming your bond, the occasional healthy disagreement can be quite beneficial. Huh? What? what? I would never marry a jerk like him. Oh, yeah, like you're a trophy wife. Oh, you God, truly God. are made for one another. Did I get it all off? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Why are you getting all red? <laughs> You're not taking all of that string of fake crap seriously, are you? Oh, you wish, but it sounds like you've been thinking about it since you're bringing it up. Ah, uh, shut up! Don't be ridiculous! If you're my soulmate, then explain why you didn't try to 